Madhurand Hakativar, who was Santhana Muthana, looked at his mother Sembian Mathavi, who bore him in his womb, and said, Mother! There are so many war mad people in this world. A day without fighting seems to them a mere day wasted. My friend Vandiyathavar, Pani's treasure, belongs to that crowd. Are you the one who thinks that every day you don't talk about it is a revolution day? It's very surprising that you also talk in support of the war industry. Said. Then Sembian Mathavi said, My dear son. You should not speak even if someone else speaks of the war. Even a phoenix is not allowed to speak. Is it not because the mighty king is also great in the war that you are alive today and sing songs praising God to melt my soul and body? Said. Mother. Let it be that I saved the life of their dear son. I will never forget that he and his daughter-in-law who held him by the hand saved my life. Isn't it the fighting spirit of Punghuali Amaiyar that is the reason why I am alive today? Vandiyathevan said. Lord Parmswaran and Durga Parmswari save us all. If not for their mercy, why should we save each other? Said Madhurand Hakativar. Child. Lord Shiva, who is the form of mercy, had to fight many times. Durga Parmswari, the mother of Jagan, who is the embodiment of love, grace and gentleness, also had to fight. In the temple of this holy place, Ambigai is sitting as a virtuous heroine. However, she is giving darshan as Mahishasura Marthani on the circuitous road of the temple, haven't you noticed? Said. Yes, mother. I observed and was amazed. I wondered why the mother who draws and protects the cosmic mediums is standing on the head of a buffalo and giving a show. Said Madhurand Hakar. Yes, yes. The goddess in this temple has finished killing Mahayashasura. So we see love and grace in the face of the goddess standing on the head of a buffalo. In the Mamalapurat cave sculptures, there is a sculpture of the goddess fighting with Mahayashasura. Durga Parmswari appears as the mighty Ranabhadra Kali. The mother of the universe. Durga Parmswari, why fight with an abominable buffalo? It may appear to the open-minded that it requires so much demonstration. My dear son. All such events that arise in the hearts of our elders have implications. To know them, we need compassion. An effort to know them. Goddess. I don't know if we all have compassion or not. But we are struggling. We are listening to each and every word you say with great effort. Why? Aren't even the tired eyes of our mighty king looking at themselves? Arom as I said. These words caused quite a commotion there. The ladies laughed lightly when they learned that Aromas Hivarma was referring to Vandiyathevan often looking at the younger Prati's face. Sempian Mathavi said, if you ask with earnestness, I say, listen. In our Puranic legends, we have told a lot about the Devasura Yuddhas. They have also told us about Thirumal's incarnation in this world and fighting with the giants. From the time when the Lord created the world, the Deva powers and the demon powers have been fighting. If you ask why the Lord created the demon powers, then the intelligence we, the Creator, cannot give an answer. We can only say that it is God's play. The only thing that is certain is that the demigods and the demonic powers are fighting relentlessly. Sometimes it is seen that the hand of the demonic powers prevails. It seems that they will rule the world forever. How many thousands of years did Sa Rapid Man, Iraniya, and Ravana rule? But they all came to an end in a moment. Yes, yes. When the end came to Dasakandaravana, who had made all the gods to submit and commit crime, did not two men and a few Vanaras together destroy him and his clan? Said Madhurand Hakativar. Therefore, Mandars should not be depressed when they see that the demonic forces are prevailing. They should fight with Dharma and truth, believing that the divine forces will win in the end. Surely the goddess will support those who fight like that. Mother. You have come to tell me about Mahayashajura. Punguzali reminded her. Don't want anything. Mahayashajura ordered to destroy everything. All the gods, sages and men trembled. Many of them submitted to Mahayashajura and accepted his rule. Due to this Mahishasura's arrogance and ferocity increased. 
Do you want to ask if arrogance and ferocity go hand in hand with silence? People in the three worlds cried out in disbelief at Mahishasura's cruelty. The demons also screamed together. Durga Parmswari then opened her eyes. Magali took form and killed Mahishasura. Divine power overcame material power. All the three worlds were freed from the shackles of Madhika. Devas, sages and Asuras also heaved a sigh of relief and saluted Durga Parmswari. Mahishasura ordered to destroy everything. All the gods, sages and men trembled. Many of them submitted to Mahishasura and accepted his rule. Due to this Mahishasura's arrogance and ferocity increased. Do you want to ask if arrogance and ferocity go hand in hand with silence? People in the three worlds cried out in disbelief at Mahishasura's cruelty. The demons also screamed together. Durga Parmswari then opened her eyes. Magali took form and killed Mahishasura. Divine power overcame material power. All the three worlds were freed from the shackles of Madhika. Devas, sages and Asuras also heaved a sigh of relief and saluted Durga Parmswari. Mahishasura ordered to destroy everything. All the gods, sages and men trembled. Many of them submitted to Mahishasura and accepted his rule. Due to this Mahishasura's arrogance and ferocity increased. Do you want to ask if arrogance and ferocity go hand in hand with silence? People in the three worlds cried out in disbelief at Mahishasura's cruelty. The demons also screamed together. Durga Parmswari then opened her eyes. Magali took form and killed Mahishasura. Divine power overcame material power. All the three worlds were freed from the shackles of Madhika. Devas, sages and Asuras also heaved a sigh of relief and saluted Durga Parmswari. Many of them submitted to Mahishasura and accepted his rule. Due to this Mahishasura's arrogance and ferocity increased. Do you want to ask if arrogance and ferocity go hand in hand with silence? People in the three worlds cried out in disbelief at Mahishasura's cruelty. The demons also screamed together. Durga Parmswari then opened her eyes. Magali took form and killed Mahishasura. Divine power overcame material power. All the three worlds were freed from the shackles of Madhika. Devas, sages and Asuras also heaved a sigh of relief and saluted Durga Parmswari. Many of them submitted to Mahishasura and accepted his rule. Due to this Mahishasura's arrogance and ferocity increased. Do you want to ask if arrogance and ferocity go hand in hand with silence? People in the three worlds cried out in disbelief at Mahishasura's cruelty. The demons also screamed together. Durga Parmswari then opened her eyes. Magali took form and killed Mahishasura. Divine power overcame material power. All the three worlds were freed from the shackles of Madhika. Devas, sages and Asuras also heaved a sigh of relief and saluted Durga Parmswari. Do you want to ask if arrogance and ferocity go hand in hand with silence? People in the three worlds cried out in disbelief at Mahishasura's cruelty. The demons also screamed together. Durga Parmswari then opened her eyes. Magali took form and killed Mahishasura. Divine power overcame material power. All the three worlds were freed from the shackles of Madhika. Devas, sages and Asuras also heaved a sigh of relief and saluted Durga Parmswari. Do you want to ask if arrogance and ferocity go hand in hand with silence? People in the three worlds cried out in disbelief at Mahishasura's cruelty. The demons also screamed together. Durga Parmswari then opened her eyes. Magali took form and killed Mahishasura. Divine power overcame material power. All the three worlds were freed from the shackles of Madhika. Devas, sages and Asuras also heaved a sigh of relief and saluted Durga Parmswari. Children! Even now the world is not devoid of supernatural powers. I know that beyond the northwest direction of this sacred Bharata continent, some dark demonic powers have appeared. They make war with fury and plunder the cities killing innocent people and smashing and destroying temples and idols. There are no great emperors in the north now who can stop them. May such a fate not befall this divine Tamil Nadu. If that's the case, shouldn't you, born in the heroic clan, be willing to fight against those demonic forces? We must be ready, 
Mother. Tell us about another type of demonic power. Vandiyathevan asked. If you are a little careless, the rabbit will leave. Mwyalakan informs us that the divine forces have been fighting with the demonic forces since the beginning of creation. Therefore, my lovely people. How can we say no to war? Goddess. Today we have learned many things that we did not understand until now. What do you command us? Asked Pawnee Selver. Children. I can only say that you should always fight on the side of the divine forces. You cannot be commanded. Only your soul can command you. Listen to that command. A little while ago, you said that pirates abounded in the seas around this St. Hamel country. Therefore the traders of Tamil Nadu suffered greatly. You also said that you understand. It is your dharma born in the royal clan to eliminate those pirates and protect the traders of our country. If you give room to the sea pirates today, will they not enter into this divine Tamil Nadu tomorrow? If my husband Jiviya Vandareya, who is a resident of Kailasa and is sitting in the shrine of Lord Shiva with Shiva's eyes, he would have told you the same. Goddess. Let's act accordingly as we know their virtues. Said Prince Aromas Hivarmar. Pawnee's wealth. If you will respect my wishes, I have one more thing to say now. Said the old lady. Goddess. Don't you remember that I have ever gone against their wishes? Forgive me if I have done anything like that. Child. What you have done before is different. What will happen from now on will be different. Up until now you have been the pet of the palace. We have done as you wished. You have also fulfilled our wish. From now on, you will be the king who will rule this state. After the coronation ceremony, we should all act according to your will. Mother. Don't say that. I will always be your pet and do as you please. Then, listen to this. This ancient Chola clan must grow like a banana. Those born in the royal family should always be ready to reach the heroic heaven. But for the clan to grow, it must be arranged in advance. Yurtamya Aditha Karikalan died without marrying. You are the only one to make the Chola clan flourish. There you are. Therefore, before you set sail again and cross the sea in search of the victorious bride, you must make the necessary arrangements for the marriage. Along with your coronation, keep the marriage. How much penance you must have done to get a woman like Vanati as a wife. The mangal yapalam of this lady will protect you like a magic shield wherever you go. Goddess. I am ready to wear that armor. Vanati refuses. She insists, I will not mount the lion, I have taken a vow. Said the prince. Unexpectedly, Bungazali then intervened and said, Don't just believe what Kajumbalar princess says. She wants us all to show more courtesy. Pawnee's Selver should beg a little more. She said and laughed. The others also laughed thinking it was a joke. But only Vanatha started crying. Stupid girl. What is this? Why are you crying like that? Kuntava asked and took Vanatha's hand and went down.